Hello everyone, uh, remember when I said last video where I said the video before that where I was making a new team to try out in uh, XYOU? Well, uh, I saw a pretty cool uh, in-depth guide, so called so called in-depth guide on uh, Smogan, you know, called the Force of Nature in-depth guide to try out why, and you know, I thought oh, that looked pretty interesting. I gave it a little read and it's a pretty solid team so I uh, basically uh, copied that <laughs> and uh, took it out for a spin on some unsuspecting victims online. Uh, so today my uh, test subject is uh, Richard, or Dick as he preserves to be called, uh, who I met on a um, pkmed.net which uh, I'll also link along with the guide in the comments below not the comments below, the description below, silly me and uh, so let's take a look at the pre 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 preview team preview um, see the thing about Richard's team is the double dragon right there uh, I've got a Salamance and a Flygon and I'm carrying a Mamoswine, so uh, he's looking pretty happy right now. Uh, getting to be able to get ice shards and whatever all over the place. I'm sure, there's a heat running right a Metacross and, and Victim. Okay, basically, everyone apart from Salamanza Flag Guards can take a nice type of attack. But once you take them, like, even then, Victini and Heat Run are still weak to ground type attacks, and uh, this Mamoswine has Earthquake on it. So, Mamoswine's gonna be putting in a lot of work this battle. Um, uh, the only one who can really handle Mamoswine is sort of Victini, uh, maybe if it gets off like a big Quotsis fire type we've got V-Create, like if it's Bandle or something it might be able to like get some big damage off on Mamoswine, or maybe Heatran if it has an air balloon, uh, but other than that there's not a lot of ways they can deal with uh, Mamoswine right here, uh, so he's looking pretty pretty tough. So anyway, let's see how this uh, let's see how this plays out as we load into this battle. Okay, so uh, Dick over here is going to lead off with his uh, Flygon as I go into my Thunderous. I thought Heat Run would be the obvious lead in here, so I was honestly predicting like a Heat Run or Victini to come in to counter it, but he just leads off with a. Uh, Flygon. I wasn't expecting to lead on Flygon because you know I could just high shot it and one shot it, but uh, he still leads off with Flygon. Goes for the U turn, gets a bit of free damage off of my Keldeo as I switch out. Um, yeah, my Thunderous only has like Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, so there's not too much you can do to the uh, the Flygon anyway, so I switch out to Keldeo. And as he comes back into his uh, Venusaur, I'm gonna go back out into Thunderous, try and get like a Paralyzed. No. I try. I predict the switch right here. I go for the thunderbolt straight away, and uh, no, I don't. I switch. What am I talking about? I switched out. Oh Jesus! I go for the thunderbolt now on the Metagross, and I'm gonna get a pretty, pretty clean critical hit. But as you're gonna see, this Metagross is gonna go for a Zen headbutt as well. I get another critical hit, one shotting my uh, Nandurus. Which is uh, pretty annoying, but then my Thunderous wasn't really going to do too much this battle anyway. So I lead then out my buy shop. I could have went for the pursuit here, but I figured I'd rather knock off whatever he's plans on switching into it, which was a Victini, and I actually managed to get a one-hit KO on here, which is a really big shame because uh, otherwise that Victini could have done a lot of damage uh, to my team. Uh, as Richard goes back out into Flygon, uh, I don't want to get hit by an Earthquake at this point because that can probably one-shot my buy shot. so I'm going to go out into my Latias. Uh, actually, he predicts that pretty nicely and goes for the U-turn, taking off about half the damage, so a lot more than the other U-turn did. And uh, he's actually going to go out into his Salamance. Now, normally Latias is supposed to outspeed Salamance because, you know, it's, look at it, it's a jet plane. So the fact that he's sending out the Salamance against my Latias let, basically lets me know that it's probably going to be scuffed. So I'm going to go back into uh, Fyshrap over here, and uh, who's a steel type, so we can take this out range pretty nicely. Uh, at this rate, it looks like it's going to be a three-hit KO. He's locked into Outrage, he can't reach really choose that, so I get like a piece of prediction on Sucker Punch. And actually that Life or Reaper does a lot of damage. 
and it's gonna be pretty impactful this game, this life will be recoil actually, but uh, he gets the two turn out rate I think, but and he's gonna switch right now. I see, I, once again I could have pursued it, but I figured, you know, I knock off on a switch, I got a free, free one hit KO, so I'll go for the knock off on the switch again. And I end up hitting the Venusaur this time, and even though it's supposed to be bulky, that actually does, that's a two hit KO, that's about 2000 of damage, and that sort of lets me like this Venusaur is uh, especially bulky rather than physically bulky. So I'm going to go back to my Latias and try to hit him with a Psy Shock and prey on his uh, sort of weakened defense. But he's going to predict that nicely and go out into Heat Run. Uh, who's going to... who's also... well, he's a Steel type, so he's, I'm pretty sure this Heat Run should be especially defensive. But either way, he takes the Psy Shock pretty nicely. Uh, you know, because he's a Steel type. But, uh, he's well, it's probably a bulky, very, like, Tank Run. So it's like Willow Wisp, Lava Boom, that sort of thing. But either way, uh, I'm pretty sure my Keldeo can do a lot of damage to him as I switch out into the Toxic. Which, it's not a big deal. Keldeo, Keldeo only really needs to kill this one Heat Run or get a bit of damage off on this Heat Run. Other than that, like, Mamoswine can take care of everything else, so I'm not too worried. He's gonna try and Toxic Storm me a little, toxic storm me a little bit with the Protect. As I lock myself into Secret Sword with the uh, choice specs. And he's gonna actually heal himself back away back up to full health with the leftovers, so that Psy Shock was actually completely negligible. Uh, I'm predicting him to switch out into something here, so I'm, uh, I predicted to switch out to Venusaur right here. So I'm gonna go out into my Charizard, because you know, Venusaur's part poison and can take a uh, Secret Sword pretty nicely. So I'm gonna go straight out into my Charizard. Because you know, Charles has a pretty cool Pokemon, he got a pretty good uh, matchup against uh, Heat Run. And now, right here, I should have predicted him to double switch to Heat Run. I did predict him to double switch to Heat Run, but I wasn't completely certain. So I didn't want him to get the uh, Flash Fire off, but I still wanted to try and like damage the Venusaur just in case it switches in, so I kind of like went half assed on the decision. I just went for the Air Slash, and that just doesn't end up doing anything either. Uh, I'm gonna Mega Evolve here and try and take out this thing with my Focus Blast. I was uh, hesitant about um, Mega Evolving the first turn because I didn't want the dr I didn't want like the Drought to somehow benefit the Heat Run and like get a big like Lava Plume crit and end up one dropping my Charizard or something. Uh, but he goes for the Toxic instead, and well, it's a bit annoying to be poisoned, but as long as I can. I, like, I just don't want to try and miss a Focus Blast again, so I'm just going to go straight back into... In, no, I'm going to go into my Mamoswine at this point. As he goes for the Protect, trying to Toxic to... Right, that's what happened. I, he toxic me, so I expected him to Protect, so I switched out into my Mamoswine on the Protect. Since my Mamoswine has max speed, I know I can outspeed him, and I know he doesn't have Air Balloon, so I can one-shot him with the Earthquake. Now, as Venusaur comes in... Uh, I predict the Venusaur to Mega Evolve, so I don't, so I don't think Ice Shard can one or Icicle Crash can one shot it, uh, with including the Thick Fat. So I'm going out into Latias. Uh, I try and kill it with the Psy Shock instead, since my uh, Latias is running Max Special Attack. But actually, the Sun Sun does end up harming me in at this point because the synthesis is able to heal Venusaur up all the way up to full health. But that doesn't really matter at all because my Psytrog's still gonna two shot him and it's gonna do tons of damage. That's another two that that is about the same amount of the buy shot knockoff earlier. But the sludge bomb's also gonna be able to two hit KO me from the health I'm at. Uh, so at this point I'm thinking I outspeed the Venusaur so he Richard has to switch basically, so I'm going to take this opportunity and uh, recover, I think. Uh, get my health all the way back up. Which I do. Now, I'm thinking this Metagross is probably Choice Banded, but Bullet Punch won't be able to kill me, like, if I'm, uh, you know, I'm reasonably healthy. So he's probably going to try and go for some other move, like a Meteor Match or something, so I'm just going to stay in and just finish this thing off finish off what I should have finished off ages ago with the uh, buy shop on the pursuit. I'm just gonna go for the Draco meter at this point just like because uh, otherwise Psy Shock's like four times resisted by Metagross so that would have been a good play. 
I'm gonna go for the Draco Meteor. That's only resisted once, and Draco Meteor is a pretty huge move either way. But he's gonna go out into his Choice Scarf Salamance, which can outspeed my Latia. So at this point, I'm just gonna sacrifice Keldeo. Uh, I don't really need him to take care of any of his other Pokemon. And I need to get a safe switch in for my Mama Swine. Because I don't want Mama Swine to take an Aldrade and switch in, so I need to get a safe switch in by take by letting him, letting the Salamance take out one of my Pokemon. Uh, this Salamance actually has Moxie, so it's a really good thing that I brought uh, Mo over here. Because Ice Shard, you know, bypasses speed and I get the priority. Otherwise, that could be really sticky since it's Scarfed. Uh, honestly, I don't really like Outrage this generation since there's so many Fairy types that I can just like completely cancel your Outrage. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, even though Venusaur has the thick fat, I'm thinking even if Icicle Crash doesn't kill, I'll probably get a flinch off because I'm pretty ahead at this point. I didn't really respect my uh, win condition this uh, Swine enough. I should have probably like looked after it a bit better instead of going for a risky Icicle Crash that has a chance to missing. Even then, it might not have one shot the Venusaur. But at this point, I guess it doesn't it doesn't have to be too much, and uh, I take the win. So overall I do like this team quite a bit, I think it's uh, got a lot of potential for, you know, playmaking, that sort of thing. Like nice switches, predictions, uh, I think it's a really solid team. I think I'll bring it out later, in a few later battles, but uh, maybe not right away. Because there's actually another Pokemon in particular that I'm thinking of using again. Uh, one of my favourite Pokemon from 5th gen, I won't say who it is just yet, you'll just have to subscribe to my channel and find out when I upload the next video. Otherwise, good game to Dick. Uh, you know, it's a pretty, pretty solid team. I know it's not what you would have used it, like on Showdown or something, but uh, it was a really fun battle. I like this battle. Um, I think we both made some pretty fun plays. Uh, I made a couple of nice predictions, which I'm really happy about. And... Uh, it was really fun to play. It was a really fun battle. Uh, thanks for that. Let's battle again sometime. Okay. I am done. Bye.